Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again, and um, well, just like I said in my previous review, taking a break from the G1 Marathon, I'm going to review a more modern figure, and by modern I mean the 21st century, but today's review will be on the 2007 movie, Leader Class, Optimus Prime. Oh my god, this thing is a masterpiece. I mean... This vehicle mode is amazing. I mean, if I had another one of these figures, I'll display it in its vehicle mode. It's just so amazing. But yeah, as we can see, instead of that cute little dinky box cab that G1 Prime turned into, this Optimus Prime turns into a long nose truck, similar to the laser Optimus Prime. But, yeah, so having a look at the truck mode, here we can see the flames, which people actually complained about back in the day. And here we can see, this Prime sort of got reverse colors, because instead of the blue wheel, the blue back wheels and the red cab, this Prime's got a blue cab and, red, and a red truck base. And the front has a bit of gold on it. Also, this figure rolls amazing. The back, and here we can actually see some vents. Although, I have a complaint with these vents. They can fall down quite easily, exposing his fists. You see? Although, I suppose if you want to have, like, fists showing in the truck mode, then go ahead. Here, this is supposed to incorporate a gun, and I do have that, which I'll show in his robot mode. And <laughs> excuse me, I was I was trying to get, I was trying to get rid of a message that just popped up. But this is supposed to incorporate a gun, and I do have that. I just leave it off in the vehicle mode as I think it sort of gets in the way a little bit. So I just put it on. I, I put it on in his robot mode. Here we see the the gas tanks. And these actually incorporate the batteries for this guy's lights and sounds, which I'll show soon. The front with the grill. And here we can actually see the auto insignia. If I can try and get a look at the guy's windows. Well, we can see he's got some window wipers there. And then the top. So, yeah. Well, these smokestacks are made out of rubber, so kids can't poke their eyes out. Now, of course, uh, not too long ago, I mentioned that this guy's got lights and sound, and in vehicle mode, well, he has one bit of lights and sounds. You see this button on top? You press that, and... He honks at you. I mean, I know he's a truck, but... <laughs> yeah, I just find that hilarious. I mean, I could do that all day if I had to. <laughs> well, well, taking a look at the underneath, we can see all this. But thankfully, there's no robot shit underneath. Which is amazing. Now that, that's pretty much it for his vehicle mode. Although uh, this guy being a leader class is quite tall, so I'm going to have to stand up my camera, or in this case, my phone. So. Oop. <laughs> Excuse me again. <laughs> Apologies, folks. What I forgot to put my actual phone stand on the boxes I'm using because I'm using the commemorative series boxes from the first few G1 reviews. But well, <sighs> getting Prime transformed can be a bit of a hassle because not only can it be a bit fiddly, but damn, this guy is heavy. But well, to try and start, if you can, unpack, 
unpad the sides of the of the the nose like so. Unplug these and fold them up. Come in here and split that. And come in here and move these down for now. Come in now. This is where we see the first bit of automorph because all the 2007 movie figures had this. Or if you move one bit, it moves another bit as part of, of the automorph gimmick. So here we pull up the underneath bit, move that around, and that flips this this up to form Prime's toes. And then flip that up so it stays. Next, come in here, move move those so they form kneecaps. Then come in here, split the back, and as you, and yes, the front of the vehicle forms its feet instead of the back. But the back wheels do get integrated, so we'll just fold this up for now. So for now, I'll just leave those there. Come in here and move these out for now. If you can, orientate this 180 degrees. Like so, so, so it's just sitting like that. And then this bit can get a bit fiddly. You have to come in here, move that down, move the gas tank around, move that up, and then swivel it, and then have it plug into there. So doing the same with this, Move all that down, move that around, and then swivel that in like so. Now at the back, take the back wheels, double hinge them up, and then move these out a little bit to accommodate for articulation later on. There we go, if you can get it plugged in. Now for the arms, slightly move that, come in here, get the fist out, and then, and yeah, as you can see, the vent doesn't really stay in that well, probably because of the age, but move that up, move them down at the elbow, if you can, there we go. Next, come in here. Well, okay, let's put the camera. The blue, this blue bit, lift that and just flip that around. Try and plug that in. And then lift this bit up. So second verse, same as the first. So flip up the fist. Try and tap this into the cab. Move the elbow down. Take the blue part, move that like so. Lift this up, and at this point, you're pretty much almost done. Now, to finish, well, we have the next bit of automorph. Come in here, move that, and brace yourself. This is awesome. If you push that down, what it does is, if I can just show you again, moving that down, lifts up the head and splits the windows, like, like so. And also plays that sound effect, and I think that is awesome. And well, here we have Prime in his robot Merhoods. And oh my god, that transformation. Sure, it can be a, a bit fiddly, but it, it makes you want to do it again and again. It's fiddly, but it's so addictive and fun to do. Like... It's the kind of fiddly that it doesn't make you annoyed, it just makes you 
well, it doesn't make you annoyed, but it still makes you excited to get to the robot mode. Now, finally, here's this gun I was talking about earlier. It's, it, normally, it plugs into there, so I'll just do that for you if I can. There we go. And that's supposed to sit on the side like a little fusion cannon. Sure, it's facing backwards, but that's for another gimmick I'll show later. But having a 360 of Prime... Well, we can see that the the front of the vehicle actually forms his his legs that t this time instead of the front. But anyways, now one complaint I do have is this guy can be a bit top heavy, so you want to try and orientate his legs so he stands up. There we go. Now, having a look at Prime's head, I mean, do I need to say anything? That is Optimus Prime's head, no doubt about it. That is Optimus Prime's head. Now, going in for Prime's articulation, well, it should show up the gun gimmick first. This is the fair bit of Automorph. Flipping the gun around, if you pay attention to the bottom bit. Flipping the gun around actually pushes these guns forwards. So, oop. <laughs> Sorry about that. Rafa, just excuse me because something. Yeah. Sorry, I, I got distracted by something, but I mean, now for our Prime's articulation, head can move around. If we move these out, Prime is technically able to T pose, but the gun gets in the way. Arms can move up, elbows, it's got sideways elbow action. His fingers, can, his fingers can open independently, so if you want to, he can sort of give you the finger, although it's in a permanent little... It's at a permanent curve, so... Nothing at the waist, sadly. And for the legs, well... Technically, you can do the split, but I don't really want to do that in case I ruin it. If you move the, the, the wheel out of the way, he has got knees. And you sort of got like full articulation in the in the back. So yeah, he can be quite posable, but remember, he is a bit top heavy. Now, complaints. Well actually I have a few. One, these bits don't really plug in that well. And the more, the more important one, even though, he, even though he didn't do it there, he can be really top heavy. But, well, other than that, that's pretty much it for my review on this guy. So, do I recommend Movie Optimus or well, the 2007 Leader Optimus? Well, definitely! Despite the fact that he's top heavy and this transformation can, can be a bit fiddly if you don't know what you're doing, this guy is really, really fun. I mean, the transformation, well, well, as I said, a bit fiddly, is really addictive. And, and sure, as I said, multiple times he's top heavy, but this guy is really addictive to play with. I mean, all those automorph gimmicks, the way his head is revealed. I mean, it's amazing. And this was probably the best Optimus Prime toy in 2007 for the movie character. Of course, now we have studio series, but come on, you can never be Automorph. Well, this has been my review on the 2007 Leader Optimus Prime, and this is Charlie Young, signing off.